The year is 2023 and you've just started playing Hypixel Skyblock. You have a net worth of exactly zero. Well, there we go. Amazing. You know what? Most people would chop the tree, but I've heard farming makes a lot of money, so I'm just going to break these uh, little piece of grass we've got on our island and see how much money we can make. We've got to get across one way or another. Now, we did actually get one seed from our island and uh, that could sell for a little bit. I'm going to talk to the farm merchant, sell that seed. Now, people told me the Garden 1.5 update was pretty OP, but one seed for just over 30 mil. Wow, okay. Well, just aside, we've found for about three minutes and we've got nearly a full inventory. And in seriousness, prior to the Garden update, if we would have actually sold all of those items, we probably would have had about 12.3 coins, but now we have 10k. Hmm. Mayors, that's interesting. Okay, three perk Paul. This is convenient timing. It's almost like some items are ridiculously too expensive, only obtainable from dungeons, and now they're introducing a three perk dungeon mayor to incentivize people to play dungeons to decrease the prices. I don't know, it's just an idea, but you can drop recoms from like 4-3, so if you're a new player, get on it. Honestly, at this point, my undead sword is just not quite cutting it. Uh, I want the best weapon in the game. A good friend told me that Hub 1 was the best place to look for advice, so I've decided to ask the question to people in Hub 1. Most people say Hyperion. Okay. Hmm. Hyperion. 910 million coins. Well, let's see. If I can make about 250 million per second from farming, that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I need to scroll to Hyperion. Okay, I see. I'm glad you let me know. Can't be that much more expensive, right? Surely not. Surely not that much more. I mean, at the end of the day, the weapon's 910 mil. It's, it can't be that bad. But before we face a typical new player dilemma, you should subscribe to the channel, become part of the 24%. Also, you should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of every single video. If you need carries or anything like that, we've got you covered. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, okay. Um, that's, that's absolutely, that's, that's fine. Yeah, I can afford that. That definitely gives me something to work towards, especially when I don't know how much these are actually going to cost. Although I've not been playing for Skybook for too long at this point, so I've still retained most of the brain cells that I previously had before playing, maybe we could do some calculations. Let's assume that we get some really good offers from people in trade menus, and we obtain each scroll for 600 million coins each. Okay, that's already 1.8 billion, and we've not even got the sword yet. Well, to craft a Hyperion, we need a Necron Sandal, and that's going to cost us around about 875 million. So that's already 2.675 billion. Well, we also need 24 Wither Castles to actually craft the Necron's Blade in the first place. That's going to be an extra 39 million. Then we need 8 Laser Eyes, so that's an extra 6 million. Well, we need to recombobulate it, so that's going to be 17 mil. It needs both Hot Potato and Fury Potato books. No, oh, I mean, if we're getting Hyperion, you want the best of the best. Put an Art of War on there too. Don't know why you'd want Strength when going for Hyperion, but oh, Skybot players know what they're doing right. How about some gemstones? We'll, we'll throw two perfects on there. It's a Hyperion, why would we skimp? Plus we also have to unlock the gemstone slots too. Okay, so let's assume that with your regular enchantments and ultimate enchantments, you're going to spend around about two to three hundred million coins. Sounds about right. Okay, now we're up to 3.1 billion coins. And that's if you're really lucky and are able to get all scrolls for 600 million coins each. Let's assume that mm, you've got decent farming armor a good hoe, and a mediocre farming level, you could then make close to 10 million coins an hour. Although let's assume you're a new player, you don't have a massively high farming level, and you don't have the best gear. You might be limited to somewhere between 5 to 6 million an hour. Of course, the more you farm, the better you're going to get, and the reason why I picked farming is because, realistically, it's probably one of the easiest skills and things to do in the game to get into, you can make decent money, and it's very consistent. Okay, let's be generous and say you can make 7.5 million coins an hour. In order to obtain a Hyperion, you would need to farm for 419 hours straight, non-stop. Now granted, it would probably end up being slightly lower, because if you've farmed that much, you're obviously going to increase your farming level, higher farming fortune, get better gear, and so on. Of course, with the garden, you've got chances of getting things like um, overgrown grass and dedication 4, which would also help. But for new players, that's the reality at the moment. The, the, the end game items, not even end game items, the items that unlock so much of the game are so, so far away. Let's forget about farming because, yeah, it can make you consistent money, but unless you've got some funny macros, which definitely don't do, then unless you want to manually farm for 418 hours straight, then good luck. You know, there's always other skills like foraging, you know, 
Can't be too different to farming, right? Oh yeah, I forgot that there's actually no progression at all. And it does take 26.5 years to get to foraging 50. And yes, you also do make 16 coins per hour at maximum efficiency. You know what? Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll choose a different skill. I mean, I guess I could mine for money. I mean, makes a lot of coins, right? Mining gemstones and all that good stuff. Surely mining doesn't have a massive barrier to entry. Surely you not. Know, I, I can get into mining and start making some coins. Um, oh yeah. Uh, realistically, the drill that I need is 1.8 billion. Cool, 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 cool. So similar situations to the hype. Honestly, this kind of feels like a humongous sidestep to actually be able to get a hype. I'm running out of options. I actually feel very sorry for new players that have just been dropped into this shambles. Honestly, if you've just started playing, it's probably not great timing. Now, considering I'm not a new player and I haven't been for quite some time, I decided to ask my Discord server for some typical non sas new player problems. And they replied, and in force. A lot of people say they struggle with making money. Some people say that they just don't know what to do at all. Some people say they struggle to grind skills. And some people say they struggle to actually gain skybot levels. But to be fair, there is a guide and... I just start a starter, go to amateur, and so on, and just complete all the tasks that you can. But for somebody that wouldn't know how to do that and just simply wanting to access the bazaar, getting to Skybot level 7 could actually seem like a bit of a struggle. Now, quite a common theme is people saying that new players are getting basically taken advantage of for not having a massive amount of knowledge about the game by, I guess, later game players. Kind of reminds me of back of the day I did this series where I flipped from Wheat to Terminator, basically nothing to a Terminator. And then I gave it away. The person that I gave it away to instantly got lowballed for about 300 million coins lower. At the time, the Terminator was worth about 7 to 800 mil. It's just a shame that a lot of the later game players take advantage of earlier game players. And don't get me wrong, I'm not speaking for everyone. When I've done the videos where I've tried to catch scammers, there's so many players that do good, and there's so many players that have literally no incentive to not scam, and they don't scam, and, and if anything, they actually try to prevent like, people, like early game players from getting scammed again in the future. But there's a lot of people that just, their eyes light up when they see an opportunity. But if you have just started playing the game, let me know. Can you relate to any of this? What problems do you face on a daily basis when trying to get to grips with Skyblock? Like I said, with everything being so expensive, I can't imagine it's too easy for new players. Anyway, I think that just about wraps up today's video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.